In this lesson, we're going to look at some more examples of differentiation. The rules of differentiation are that multiply down by the power and reduce it by 1. So to differentiate x cubed, you multiply down by 3, and that reduces to a 2. In this case, multiply down by 2 to get 4, that reduces by 1 to get x to the power of 1, or just x. Here we have 4x cubed, to differentiate it, multiply down by 3, reduced by 1 to get 12x squared. In this case, we've got 7x to the power of 1, multiply down by the power, reduce it by 1 to get 0. So x to the power of 0 is just 1, so that goes to 7 times 1, which is 7. And whole numbers we think of as y equals 8, which is just a straight line from intermediate 2, or national 5. So a straight line across at y equals 8 has no gradient. So whenever you differentiate a whole number, it comes out to be 0. OK, so these examples here, we've got f of x equals 3x to the power 6. If we differentiate this, we multiply down to get 18 and reduce by 1 to get 5. So f dash to x equals 18x to the power 5. In this case, we don't want the x to the power 4 at the bottom. We want to take that up the top and then make it negative so as we can differentiate with the power, bring the power down. So rewrite that as 3x to the negative 4, multiply down by the negative 4 to get negative 12, and then reduce the power by 1 to get negative 5. Again here, we don't want the root x in the bottom. That's really x to the power of half. So take the x to the power of half up the top, and that becomes negative a half. So really you have f of x equals... 4 thirds x to the negative a half by taking the root x up the top. Multiply down by the power and reduce it by 1. So multiplying a half by 4 thirds, you just do 4 times 1, which is 4, and 3 times 2, which is 6. So that's negative 4 over 6, which goes to negative 2 thirds. And then reduce this by 1. So you're doing negative a half, take away 2 halves, so that's negative 3 over 2. Some more examples here. If we want to differentiate this function, differentiate each bit individually. So we'll start with the 2x cubed, so multiply down by 3 and reduce it by 1, which gives you 6x squared. Multiply down by the 2, reduce it by 1, which gives you negative 10x. And differentiate the 6 to get 0. I've put the 0 in here, but you wouldn't normally. You would just leave your answer as f dash to x equals 6x squared, take away 10x. OK, example here. f of x equals 4x to the power of 5 plus 2 over the cube root of x. We have to remember that the cube root of x can be rewritten as x to the power of a third. And as before, take it up the top, so x to the negative a third. So rewrite that first. We haven't differentiated at this point. We're just rewriting it in a form we can differentiate. So we should have learned that x, the cube root of x is x to the third, and then take it up the top to be a negative. Now we can differentiate, multiply the power down and reduce it by 1, and then multiply the power down. 2 times a third is 2 thirds, so that's going to be negative 2 thirds. And reduce this by 1, so that's negative a third, take away 3 thirds, that's the way to think about it, so that's negative 4 thirds. 